Percy Island Homestead, Percy Island Homestead, Percy Island Homestead. This is Sailing Yacht Brilliant 2, Brilliant 2, Brilliant 2 on Channel 73. Over. Good morning to you, Brilliant 2, and a brilliant day it is. Over. It's a lovely day, good morning. We are anchored in West Bay. Just wondering if we can stretch our legs. Apparently there's a track that comes up to the homestead. We don't mean to disturb if you're busy, although if you're taking visitors, we can pop in and say hi, just um, seeking permission to come and walk on your track. Over. Well, that's jolly decent of you. Um, you'll be glad to hear that you can walk on the track at any point and we usually invite you in if you make it this way you deserve to come in for a refreshing drink over that's very kind of you thank you we'll uh, head on over at some point this morning then ready to that now, there's two tracks you'll see on the big fancy notice board that's on the beach the long track is four and a half kilometers from the beach and it's just sort of a gentle constant hike up the hill the other track is the short track, two and a half kilometres, which takes you to the back of the lagoon. So you either do the short, sharp, painful one and get here quickly, or the slow one and enjoy the little messages en route. Over. That's really helpful. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Brilliant 2, back to 1-6. This is Brilliant 2, a Kelly Peterson 44, built in 1978. This is us, the Smallwoods. And this is the story of our long overdue boat refit. Wait, this is the story of a mid-refit sailing adventure. Welcome along for the ride. Well, it's just an absolutely beautiful morning here in West Bay on Middle Percy Island, followed by a fabulous night. We're quickly learning that one of the advantages of coming here in a northeaster is that you don't get the death roll that this place is famous for in a southeaster. It's been beautifully flat and calm. Our first task during this visit to Middle Percy was to take the leaseholder Kate up on her offer of walking the island's tracks. Previous visits had been confined to either West Bay with its iconic A-frame shack or, in a northerly wind, Whites Bay on the south coast. This would be our first time traversing the interior with a few surprise finds along the way. First was a marked offshoot track to Ring Ring Rocks, a place where someone with a Telstra phone might find reception amid a stunning view. Next was another offshoot track to a place called Rescue Bay. Came up on these sand dunes. It's like Fraser Island style. And then you can see South Percy. And there, it's very cool. I took a photo on my phone. We should go there. Not now, but. Along the uphill track were quirky artifacts marking the way and messages of encouragement like this one by Andy Martin, leaseholder of the island from 1964 to 2008. This message marking the halfway point between the homestead and the beach, reads, Are you weary of the journey? Does your burden seem too great? Are you fighting uphill battles, struggling with a hostile fate? The milestone at the turning point may be a few steps round the bend. Courage, this may be the spot where joys return and troubles end. That must be um, South Percy down there. Yep, that's it. Look at that beach. Oh, that's fabulous. At Andy's lookout were more pearls of wisdom. What is this life if full of care? We have no time to stop and stare. No time to stand beneath the boughs and stare as long as roos and cows. No time to see a broad daylight. Streams full of stars like skies at night. No time to turn at beauty's glance and watch her feet, how they dance. A poor life this is, if full of care. We have no time to stand and stare. Well, I think Andy may have been onto something there. The sun's not shining at the moment. 
If it was, it would be casting two shadows from these two wires. And this wire will cast a shadow on this arc. And that will tell you approximately what time of day it is. So yeah. you see here, like midday is 12 in the middle when it's directly above. Yeah. And then this wire tells you the declination of the sun down here. And it's at zero degrees in the middle, 10, 20, 30 south and 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. north. So it would also tell you what month of the year it is. Cool. It says, if you take the high road and I'll take the low road, you'll get to the homestead before me and the crew will surely meet again on the Bonnie Bonnie Isles of Percy. There's another fork in the road here. So that's the way we've come from, West Bay and Lagoon. You can turn right to go to Spur Bay. No. Painting by Charlie Brown. And then Spur Bay and then Homestead. This way, so we... Or off to the homestead. Prickly cactus on the side of the track. We must be getting close now, look. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Does that sound like a peacock call? No. The homestead gates were indeed a welcome sight. We were greeted by goats and the leaseholder, Kate, who inducted us to the Percy Island Yacht Club, creating official dog tags for us on her World War II era machine. Is that becoming a member of a new yacht? A club? new lot, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. We're now going to be members of the Percy Island Percy Yacht Club. Yacht. Well, Kate was just telling us that uh, they're starting up a foundation for the island. There's four dwellings on this island and they actually want to get some more people living here so they can share the workload a little bit more and perhaps share the cost of getting equipment over and I mean you know living in a beautiful place. Obviously one's the homestead where we've just been and met Kate. Another one's called the Rondeval which we're just at a sign for here and Kate said we could go and have a bit of a look at that and apparently this one would be large enough for a family to live in. I think it may need rebuilding uh, but we'll go and see. Okay, so this must be the house. Oh, nice. Look at that. So this is where somebody could potentially live. This would be your kitchen area. Nice little breakfast bar here. There's a bed in the middle. There's two beds around here, look, there's, you can have beds, so sleeping area here. This would be your bedroom, Joshie. And then there's like a main sort of area here. Yeah, I feel there's people that would just, just oh, love. Oh, jump at this. Yeah, it's, it's just, imagine having the opportunity to have like a completely different lifestyle for a period of time. Mm and come and live on an island like this and you know do do great work keeping it um keeping it up here's the power supply this would be the here's the music supply. i'm just going to shut this gate before i forget look at the boiler so there's a <laughs> toilet a in long there drop. long drop Nice sink out here, and then there's a little workshop, workbench. workbench. Oh, there's a cooker. Oh, hot tub. Oh, you beauty. Look at that. Here's Get the range. Wow. Made in England. It's a water heater. Yeah. Water heat heats up from the stove. Yeah. This is the second dwelling, which is the room with a view, which apparently is um, smaller. Anyway, let's go have a look. But there's some spiders and centipedes yes, in there. Yes, there is, Huntsman. Yeah, Kate said you've got to watch out for the centipedes, but there's no poisonous snakes on the island, which is good. What's, What's that? What is that? 
Well, it looks like part of a bus. It does, doesn't it? Uh, Land Rover roof on it. There's a handy propeller. This is wild. I love how it's um, just got a ton of different angles yeah. coming out everywhere. Right, that as well. That's it. She said the door was a bit stiff. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is so cool. Look at the tiles. Oh my goodness. Look. Phone. And a nice little computer desk for someone. Wind up phone. Look, marble floor. I could see myself working here. Marble floor. I could see myself. There's the solar controllers. So this must be the bedroom up here. Yeah, I'll try and call someone. Oh wow. This is amazing. Ew. So this is like a real oh my God. tree house. That is a view. Oh look at all the boats that are come in. A fan. Hey look! That's the wardrobe. Walk-in wardrobe. There's your computer desk. Solid marble. Green radio. Oh, boat's still there. Look, a sink arrangement That's here. The bathroom. This is the bathroom. Oh, there's the shower. Yeah, made out made of solar panels. That's very cool. The return journey was what Kate had described as the short, sharp track, tumbling down the hillside before reaching sea level and opening out onto the mudflats at the back of the lagoon. A few days later, we would explore the lagoon with its careening piles, marine paraphernalia and Hickling's boat shed. For now though, it was back to West Bay and the A-frame shack to add our boat name to the Percy Island Yacht Club register before returning to Brilliant 2 and hoisting our new burgee. Membership to the Yacht Club costs a one-off fee of $150, part of which pays for the burgee, dog tags and boat plaque you receive, with the other portion contributing to the island's ongoing public liability insurance fees. It's a small price to pay for a minor contribution to an incredible destination and one way in which visiting yachties can really help. Well, we've got a fresh Percy Island coconut, no machete. So, I'm gonna revert to more modern methods. Oh, look. Coconut water! Not as macho as like hacking it from the tree and slicing it open with a sharp machete with your bronze chest all sweating and everything, but hell of a lot easier. <laughs> so, I happen to have this bottle of Capricorn spiced mm. rum. It's as real as it gets. Locally sourced molasses, a long fermentation time and aged in Queensland's tropical climate using ex Shiraz, ex Bourbon and new American oak barrels. So we're going to give this a go. I'm sure it'd be better with ice, but we don't but have we any. But we don't have any ice. We right. couldn't just drink the coconut water, could we? No. Just on its own. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you out. Cheers. The next day, we decided to visit a part of the island we'd never been to before, taking the offshoot track to Rescue Bay on the south coast. Just as before, it was a well-marked route through shady forests, this time opening out onto massive sand dunes falling into the sea.
Pasky Bay. for our plaque and we can't find it anywhere but we'll just do a, a quick walk through in 360 just in case come with me this is going to look very strange i expect with it so wide this is the area at the back let's come right the way through We're at the back, little barbecue cooking area, notice board, here a little bit. Okay. On this side, this is where the little shop is and you can go in and buy honey and marmalade. Have a look. Here we go. This A-frame is part of Andy's legacy along with the treehouse and a tradition of hospitality. In loving memory of the unique and wonderful Andy Martin, resident and leaseholder of Middle Percy Island from 1964 to 2008. And then there's a bit of blurb up here all about the Percy Island Yacht Club, which is what we've joined while we've been here. This is all about the tracks. Very cool. Right, let's carry on. So, here's more of the shack. Definitely no sign of the brilliant two plaque though. It was upstairs. Oh, we looked up there as well. We can go up there in 362. And this is the top floor. The balcony where we originally had our sign. Very cool.
plaque we had been searching for was a memento from our first visit together to the island on the return voyage from buying Brilliant 2 in Thailand. We knew the A-frame shack had been cleaned up several times over the years since then and our plaque was likely to have been moved when repairs were made to the roof. Of course, it could have also fallen victim to one of the storms or cyclones to have passed this way. I suppose, unless someone else finds it, we'll never know. Having now been able to return as a family of three, it didn't seem right to depart again without leaving our mark. Although we were ill-prepared, with no Dremel or even paint on board, Julian set to work whittling away at a teak coach roof beam we had removed during our recent refit and would not be putting back. While our previous plaque says 2007, it was actually New Year's Eve 2006 when we made landfall at West Bay, so we altered the dates of our visits to reflect that fact. After applying epoxy filler instead of paint, we varnished the finished product in a nod to the recent refit. Well, this is the finished product. And now we've just got to find somewhere to screw it, hang it up, do something with it, position it. Let's see. Oh, there's our old one. What? No, not really. <laughs> He's so funny. Well, this is so last minute that there's still some the, pretty the serious is still fumes going off. Yeah. <laughs> coming off of the two pack varnish. Yeah. So we don't want to drop it in the sand because all the sand will stick to it. Yeah. Right, so where are we going to put it? Oh, I think we found a spot. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's it, it's on. There you go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. With the second version of our plaque now installed, we had come full circle. Our story of connection to Middle Percy Island was complete. Our small contribution to the history of the place was made and, we hoped, would stand the test of weather and time. The island's story, however, is ongoing. Anyone visiting in 2023 will likely encounter the latest caretakers Kerry and Mal, who are working hard to ensure its survival for generations to come. Together with Kate, who incidentally is Andy Martin's cousin, Kerry and Mal have been taking steps to establish the not-for-profit foundation Kate spoke of during our visit to the homestead. The idea is that this new entity will shore up the island's future by appropriately managing complexities such as insurances and the relationship with national parks. With a background in conservation, Kerry hopes it will also attract young people and families to the island, people who are interested in playing a part in its preservation and in the lifestyle that would offer. While this is by no means a paying gig, for the right people with the appropriate skills and licenses, the island will provide both food and shelter. Imagine living in the rendezvous or room with a view and growing your own food, processing your own meat and making candles, soap and honey from the island's bees. And if this isn't for you, there are still ways you can help. If you're calling in on a coastal cruise and time permits, stay longer so the caretakers can take some much needed respite or volunteer for one of the many daily jobs. As Kerry says, don't just come up and chat to us. What we need is your hands, not your mouth. Come and be a part of it and then take the skills you've learnt back with you into the wider world. <laughs>